Exodus 19, we're going to start reading at verse 1. All right, my brother, go ahead. In the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai, for they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness. And there Israel camped before the mount. Before the same mount that Moses seen the bush burning and the Lord gave him the job to go down and deliver his people. It took him three months to get there after they came out of Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. Continue at verse 3. And Moses went up unto God and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. You see what the Lord told Moses to tell us? You seen what I did to the Egyptians. I did that. All of that drama and terror that happened in Egypt, I brought that. So that I could deliver you out of that captivity that I put you in, so I could bring you back here to myself. Go ahead on and read. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. So the Lord that made an example out of us, he have humbled us with captivity for 400 years in Egypt. He have shown all of his mighty power before us on Egypt. Now he tells us that if you will be obedient and hear my voice and keep my covenant indeed, then I will going to make you a peculiar treasure unto me because all of the earth is mine. But I'm getting ready to make an agreement with you just like I made an agreement with your father Abraham and with your father Isaac and with your father Jacob. Now this is the agreement. Go ahead on the read. Six. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Because this is what the Lord wants us to be. He wants us to be a kingdom of priests unto him. What do priests do? Priests teach the rest of the sons of Adam. I want you to be the teachers of the world because I have revealed myself unto you. And I want you to be a holy nation because I'm holy. These are the words that you shall speak unto the children of Israel. So Moses came and told this to our fathers. And what did we respond to Moses? Go ahead on and read. Seven. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. Go ahead. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken, we will do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. So our forefathers went into a covenant with God. God, this is what you want. Then this is what you're going to have. We will obey. Now, that wasn't just for them. Because when you go into a covenant with God, it is a perpetual covenant. And we are still under the covenant that our forefathers in the days of Moses made with God. God don't break his covenant, and we can't break it. We still have to do all that he has said. And all that he has asked us to do is to just teach the rest of the world about him. But we can't teach the rest of the world about him because we don't know him. Because we have turned our back on him to serve other gods. Gods of wood and stone, gods don't have no prophets. The God of Sunday, whose God is that? The God of Christmas and Easter, whose God is that? The God of going to heaven, whose God is that? All gods that have no prophet. They didn't deliver us out of Egypt. The true and living God did. Now, 